That is Kay Granger fighting to hold on to her seat with a big challenge from within the party. Former Colleyville City Councilman, that is Chris Putnam on the right hand side, and a sizably close race right now, 57 to 43 percent. And look at the precincts reporting, just 3 percent on the results side right now. So, way too close to call at this early hour. Steve Pickett is live tonight at the Granger Watch Party. What's the, what's the feeling inside the room? Well, I'm much more confident in this room, Doug, I can tell you, based on the latest data I just saw and what these representatives from Ms. Granger's uh, campaign just saw, about close to 40% of those precincts in Tarrant County, uh, the heart of Tarrant County being Fort Worth, showing a 20-point lead for Kay Granger. They say, yes, they're going to wait for all these numbers to come in, but a pretty confident Kay Granger here within the last 20 minutes based on those new numbers they just saw. As you just mentioned, Doug, this race, tough and turbulent. Uh, Chris Putnam, the opponent in all of this, framed Ms. Granger as being out of touch with Trump conservatives, and he spent a lot of money, a lot of time on that messaging. Now, the 23-year member of Congress found herself having to essentially wrap up her campaign to fend off Putnam's claims that she was and tough on the border, and she was too soft in terms of her support for the president. Tonight, Ms. Granger says she still believes the voters of this district knows, know who she is, what she's done, and she's a reflection of their political values. I said to people, I said, you know, you know me. I was your city councilman, I was your mayor, I was your congresswoman, and I've always worked for this community, and, just, I, I, and I knew they'd be there. And again, based on the numbers that were just brought to us from this campaign, showcased, again, primarily in the heart of Fort Worth, where that has been the heart and soul of this congressional district for Kay Granger. She believes that that current lead will remain that way for the rest of this evening. Reporting live, C. Pickett, CBS 11 News. And usually the campaigns have a little more inside info than sometimes even we do. Steve, thank you for the insight. And